as you can see the Jubilee makes quite an impressive stone. South African in origin, it's now a Parisian residence and one of the great cleanest, best color, most precise cuts of all the major big gems. So precise as I say it can be balanced on a cuet. Before any formal fastening can take place, it's important to preform or cut the large chunk of YAG crystal into a reasonable semblance of the cushion shape that you're going to have when you really cut it. It saves uh, time and accuracy uh, to preform on a high grit wheel like this by turning up uh, a rather good flow of water turning on the machine and getting ready for some fastening noise. Listen, you can hear the stone being cut away. We'll put the uh, table on this side. You cut by hand when you're preforming because you don't really need to be so accurate at this point. All you want now is a piece of rough crystal shaped into a basic form. That's why you lose so much. The yield on a crystal runs only about 25 to 30 percent. About 75 percent is thrown away or grinded. It's shaping up into a nice table facet. Then this will be pre-polished, polished. The dots that can be put on and then the formal, careful, precise faceting with a jam peg begins. Get ready for some noise. As you can see, the Jubilee, even in the finish, is so large that it required a huge dop stick. Normally a jam peg like this requires only a one and one and a half inch dop stick. This is two and a half inches, so there's extra length here. That means there's more length on the hypotenuse of the triangle, which renders the angle slots uh, ineffective uh, because I can't get the, uh, the jam up high enough. So what I did was elevate it as far as I can and then recalibrate so that they can work. I'm in the last stages. Did it work? Yes. I used these angles and then shifted as best I could even going up to what normally would be only be a 10 percent and this turned out to be a 25 percent which is enough. The Jubilee is what's called an apex uh, finish table. It's uh, triangular in shape and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight divided by four, we have a fourfold symmetry in this cushion cut, which is normal. So you have three rows, you have huge mains, you have drop down stars, and then you have the apex facet. The perfect color, this is a river, what the GIA refers to as a D, and the flawless nature of this enormously precise and uh, clean stone uh, makes it uh, very valuable. Here we have the trigger and the index gear, a 32 gear, which is set right now so that we can do one of the star down angles. If we drop way up here, turn the motor on, get a little water going, and then because it's so large, it's a two-handed operation. <coughs> Yeah, that's cut it nice and flat. You can hear the plastic going flat to the to the lap, the polishing lap. Perfect. That's finished. Very nicely. This is a 50,000 grit diamond wheel. We change the address for the next facet. Go into the proper number. Search out the proper angle here. and polish the next facet. What you're really doing is going round and round each one of these notches corresponding to one of the facets and just cut around until you have a marvelous and pretty good replica of the world famous Jubilee.